Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and welcome to episode 2 of how to make a sand simulation in Scratch, part 100% um, patent version. Okay, so last time we left off, well, well, yeah, last time we left off with a wall, like this. Now, um, this is not very interesting, is it? Uh, okay, let's make it a bit more interesting by drawing which pixel the mouse is on. Now, this can be achieved really easily by just inside our forever loop here, inside our main forever loop. What we're gonna, all we have to do is we're just gonna, um, we are just going to go to our mouse pointer and uh, pen down, pen up, <laughs> pen down, pen up. Now, this is not very good because as you can see, this is actually off the grid. So this is not very good. So, uh, yeah, we're we're scrapping that. Get rid of that. Um, okay, so, um, how do we make this better? Well, the, the best way is probably to store which pixel the, um, mouse is on. So, what, how we're gonna do that is we are going to go ahead and create, uh, three new variables. We are going to create a variable called, um, mouse relative x and mouse relative y uh, mouse relative y and finally mouse uh, mouse id yes uh, and click ok okay so let's just keep these variables shown for now okay so how do we actually let's move it down here okay so how do we calculate these so these are going to calculate basically which tile the mouse is on. So mouse relative x is going to calculate which x position it's on, mouse relative y is going to calculate which y it's on, and yeah, I think you get it. Mouse id is going to be which item of the list we are actually on. Okay, so how we're going to do this is we are going to go ahead and we're going to grab the mouse xy. Um, actually, I'm not sure if that's the best way. One sec. Okay, so this time just take my word for it. Um, this is going to be, drag, go to operators, drag the abs of, change this to floor. So, floor of, drag a division, drag an addition into the left side, and insert a 240 into the middle. Uh, so, and then drag a mouse X into the right side, and then drag block size into the left side, or grid size. Okay. So, this is just going to be floor of mouse x plus 240 divided by grid size. This should indeed work. So, let's just go ahead and test this. So, in the corner here, this is mouse relative x is 0. Next one, mouse relative x 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 29. And then over here, it goes back to 0. And yes, that seems to be working. Okay, now let's do the y. The y is a bit more complicated. So, we're going to have to set mouse relative y two, drag a subtraction, so we're going to subtract one, and drag an absolute value of, actually, no, don't drag an absolute value of, we don't need that, do we? No, yes we am. Yes we do, okay, so drag an absolute value of, or abs of, abs of what? We're going to drag a division, and we're just going to drag a we're gonna drag grid size into the, into the right, and we are going to drag a subtraction. Oh wait, no, this is wrong. Sorry. Uh, inside abs of, we're gonna drag another abs of, and this time it's gonna be floor of. Abs of floor of, okay. Abs of floor of blank minus one, and inside the blank we're gonna drag a division, so divided by grid size like that. And then inside the left, we're gonna we're gonna drag a subtraction, subtract 180, and then drag the mouse y into there. Okay, so now this uh, that should work as well. So let's see. So mouse mouse relative y one two three four five six seven. Yep, yep, yep. That is working fabulously. Okay, now we need to get the index of which one we are hovering over. Which tile are we hovering over here? Uh, well, that's actually pretty easy to check. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and 
since we when you go down a grid space you have to go all the way across and then one more down right that's how our grid system works right we're gonna have to set our um, mouse mouse ID to drag an addition and drag a multiplication and multiply world width times mouse relative Y plus mouse relative X. That should work, let's see. Okay, so mouse ID here is gonna be zero, and then once we move it over, mouse ID is five, okay, it's going up like that. Okay, now if we move down one, it goes to 30, perfect. And next one is 60, 61, yep. Yes, so it seems to be working with the last value. The last value is 660, which is good because our grid is 660 wide, right? Okay, so now we have a grid system working, which is good. So now we have, we, we know which, which one our mouse, mouse is hovering over. Let's hide these variables and let's make, a dis ma let's make a way to display where our mouse is. Okay, so inside our render grid, we're gonna do it in here. So we're gonna create a new block, call it render mouse and run without screen refresh. Click okay. And render mouse, we can just stick that right in. Um, let's stick that above the if here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is inside render mouse, mouse what we're gonna do is drag an if, we're gonna, we're inside render mouse, drag an if, if my eye, right, if my eye is equal to mouse ID, uh, not mouse, mouse, mouse ID, uh, if I is equal to mouse ID, which means if the item I'm checking right now, in the item in this list is equal to the current mouse position, what I'm gonna do is I'm, also, I'm gonna set the color, set the color of the pen, set pen color to uh, say, let's just make it red for now so we can see it. Uh, and we're just, we can just pen down, pen up. Okay, let's see if that works. Uh, that does not seem to be working properly. Um, on the bright side, we do have a pixel at our mouse position. It's kind of off center, which is, could be a problem, but let's fix that after. Let's first fix the big red box that's appeared around our whole canvas. Now that's just because we haven't set our pen color before this at all. So all we have to do is we're gonna have to just set our pen color back to this color here. Let's just put that, um, let's just put that below our render mouse right here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, yeah, that fixed that. Okay, and the second thing you might notice is this is kind of off center as you can see. We need to subtract, we need to, um, we need to subtract something from the mouse relative X. Actually, no, we need to add something to the mouse relative X, sorry. Uh, I'm making a lot of mistakes today. Okay, so we're gonna add, and let's just add one, just to see what happens, why not? <laughs> okay, let's see. Does that fix it? Yes, that seems to have fixed it. Now, yes, okay, that's good. One thing I'm noticing is, the mouse is behind everything else, as you can see. So I want to fix that. I want to, I want the mouse to be in front. How do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We just move our render mouse below our other drawing scripts, like that. Okay, and re put the change x by grid size and change y by, by one right below that. Now, yes. So now it seems to be on top. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that when I, if I go off the edge here, it loops to the other side of the screen. Now, that is not intentional, but I'm, uh, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. And you can fix it if you want, it's just, I, I don't really mind, uh, because I, there's no reason to put your mouse over here anyway, so not really a big of a deal. So I'm just going to leave it like this, and I'm just going to call it a day. Let's just see how much time we have. We have, oh, okay. Uh, it's been um, like 15 minutes, I think, 15, 16 minutes of recording, so... Um, we have a lot of time. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, um, let's create a way to draw with the mouse. Let's create a way to draw actual pixels to the screen with the mouse. Okay, so how do we do that? It's actually pretty simple. Inside render mouse, we're gonna create a new block. Let's call this one, let's shrink the screen a bit. Um, 
let's call this one, say, draw with mouse, mouse, like that. Run without screen refresh, click OK. Okay, inside run, run draw with mouse, we're gonna stick this. We're gonna stick the draw with mouse underneath everything, everything underneath the render mouse, 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 um, mouse. Yes, okay. Um, draw with, just, eh. draw with mouse. What are we gonna put in here? Okay, so um, all we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go ahead and if mouse down, right? If mouse down. Replace item, replace item, go go to variables, grab grab a replace item, mouse ID of grid with, uh, let's just say one for now. Okay, let's see if that works. Yeah, okay. So now we can actually draw stuff to the screen, which is nice. Um, yeah, okay, so great. Um, let's add a way to color our pixels. So right now we're just setting everything to one color, which is not very nice. Um, well, let's go ahead and create a new block called color, color, um, Canadian spelling, yes. Okay, <laughs> color, um, color pixels. Okay, color pixels run without screen refresh. Okay. So color inside color pixels, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and set pen color to that gray color, and we're just gonna replace the set pen color to color with the color pixels block right where we took it from. Okay, so this should work exactly the same as before. First of all, I want to change that uh, mouse color to something like this, I guess, um, because that's a bit nicer. Yeah. Okay. Let's make it a bit brighter so we know it's a bit different from the mouse. Yeah, that, that looks good. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, so set pen color to um, gray. Now, I want this to be um, different for every single pixel, like every single type of color on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab an if then else. And if item, let's equals, so if item I of grid is equal to one, set pen color to this. Else, let's say if it's equal to uh, two, let's do sand. So sand would be a nice orange color. So let's set that right now. So like that, maybe? Yeah, okay, that sounds good, yeah. Okay, if item I of grid equal two, set, set to that. Uh, else, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set a color to represent unknown color. We don't know what this pixel is, so uh, most people just use pink like this. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So if we replace it with something random like uh, this would become pink because we don't know what that pixel is. Uh, but if we replace it with two, as you can see now it's drawing sand. If we replace it with one, it is drawing stone. That is nice. And yeah, okay. So color pixels is working great. Uh, let's also make a way to um, select the color, uh, the type of pixel we want to draw with. So let's create a new variable, call it um, uh, current brush, uh, and for all sprites, current brush. Uh, what we're gonna do is inside of our setup, um, inside of uh, where, where should we put this? Inside, um, inside our, how about inside our main forever loop? Inside our main forever loop, we're just gonna set current brush. Actually, we're, we need an if, so we're gonna if, um, key, uh, the n, so n would be for next brush, right? n press, set current brush to current brush plus one, mod two. So, mod uh two okay All right because there is blank stone uh, so it should be mod three right i think yeah mod three okay current brush to current brush plus one mod three mod three basically means repeat every three times so if it's zero it becomes zero if it becomes one if it's one it becomes one if it's two it becomes two if it's three it becomes zero if it's four it becomes one and it kind of just like loops everything 
Um, okay, set current brush to current brush plus one mod three, and then um, and then wait until not not key and pressed. Okay, now this will lag the simulation like crazy every time we uh, press the N key. I don't know if we like hold it. Yeah, see? If we hold it, it will lag the simulation. So we don't want that. So we have to put this in a different loop. So it takes out that if drag a when green flag clicked, drag a forever loop, and if key and pressed, put that in there. Okay, so now it shouldn't do that, right? Yeah, okay, great. Uh, let's go ahead and check the current brush right now current brush is two zero one two yeah and as you can see it loops every few uh every every three numbers right that's good that's what we want okay so inside our draw with mouse we're just gonna go if mouse down then uh replace item mouse id of grid with current brush yeah okay Let's see, current brush is 1, so we should get stone. Current brush is 2, we should get sand. Current brush is 0. This should be actually be an eraser. Yeah, okay. I kind of want to, now I kind of want to color the mouse based on the um, current uh, brush. So, we're going to go ahead and where is our render mouse? Okay, render mouse. What we're going to do is we're going to surround this in an if. So, if, if then else. So, if uh, current brush is equal to, uh, zero. Zero. Set pen color to, and this is the erase color, right? So, let's just do a light red. Like that. Else, if current brush is equal to one, set it to, uh, stone. So, the stone color was over here. Let's just grab that. And let's just make it a bit lighter. Yeah, okay. And then else if current brush is 2, uh, we should do sand, right? So let's just yoink the sand color. Current brush is equal to 2. Set the sand color to... Uh, where's the sand color? Oh, that's the wrong slider. Let's use this slider. Yeah, okay. And let's put that put, put the pen, pen down pen up back in, in there. Okay. So, let's see if that works. So right now the curve brush is zero, so we can erase with this, which is nice. Press N, curve brush is equal to one. It's stone color, curve brush is equal to two, sand color. Perfect. Okay, so how much time do we have? Uh, eight minutes, uh, so that's the recording time. So it's been 25 minutes, maybe? Um, okay. Okay, so now we have an art tool. Yay! Okay, so now we can pixel draw pixel art to the screen. We can draw dot pixel art to the screen, as you can see. Oops. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh. That's nice. Okay. Uh. Okay. So that is how when what we're gonna have to leave off in this video. Um. For now. That's enough for this video. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share this channel with others. Um, and a uh, subscription would mean a lot to me. Thank you. And uh, it would also probably... Uh, yeah, okay. So, thank you for watching. See how to do self-lethan. And see you next time.